Hello everyone, welcome to Dev Tamin. In this video, I will teach you how to create model in Node.js application. Previously, we've learned how to connect our application to database like MongoDB. In this video, I will show you how to create model easily. Let me draw you a picture so you can understand the process easily. Here is our application. Let me draw you here our application. And this is Node, right? Node app okay we have database over here which is like uh, mongodb previously we learned how to connect our application to the database okay and how about we want to save data in the database how can we do it we do it by using model for example, if I want to save information about product, I create product model here. So I can save information about product in database. Here, yeah, this is product information. Okay, product data. And this product data will interact directly with product model via the connection that we've created before. Let's take a look what is inside product model so you can create it easily. For example, here is inside product model. And inside the product model, we have product schema. Okay. Product schema. So product schema will determine what kind of data you have in product model okay it's quite complicated right now let me show you the code okay let's create a folder over here in our projects name is models okay we are going to create models inside model folder for example product model.js okay in order to create products model we need to include mongoose in these files require mongoose okay everything that's interact with database we use mongoose as i said before in order to create product model we need product schema let's create product schema variable product schema equal we call mongoose to create schema okay schema and then in schema, we will determine each field, okay? Over here is the objects. For example, if I want the field name, I put name over here, and then I put object. So we can determine the data type of this field. I need it to be string. And then it's required. So required should be true. And over here, you can put validation message. If user doesn't input a name, so you can show this message. Please enter a product name. And then we can put another field, which is quantity. Okay, type could be number. It can be required, it can be true. And default value you can put is as zero or put whatever you want. And what else we can do over here? We can put like price. Okay. It can be type number. Okay. Require should be true. And you can even put like image. Okay. Type should be string and and require can be false okay uh, we won't put default value over here and over here you can put timestamp so timestamp is used to create two fields which are created at and updated at it's used to track when data is saved to the database and when data is modified Okay, we have schema. Right now, we can create model. Okay, let's create product model. Con product. Okay, and then equal mongoose. 
dot model okay and then we put product over here and we use schema over here okay now we have model name product so we can export this out module dot export dot product okay we successfully create product model in the next video i will teach you how to use product model to save data into the database